of the International Planned Parenthood Federation. You have the floor. Thank you, dear Chair. I thank you for giving the International Planned Parenthood Federation the opportunity to address the World Health Assembly. We welcome the report on promoting the health of migrants and thank the Assembly for its recognition of the impact that immigration and crisis can have on sexual and reproductive health. An estimated 65 million people have been forcibly displaced from their homes by conflict or natural disasters, and 75 to 80 percent are women, children, and adolescents. They are at increased risk of rape, sexually transmitted infections, unintended pregnancies, unsafe abortion, maternal morbidity, and death. However, Sexual and reproductive health services are often neglected or ignored in humanitarian hum emergencies, a time when services are most needed, yet are not prioritized or recognized by key humanitarian responders. IPPF has been filling this gap since 2007 through innovative programs such as mobile clinics and with the establishment of the SPRINT initiative, which ensures access to essential life-saving sexual and reproductive services for women, men, and children in times of crisis. Through the provision of the minimum initial service package for reproductive health, a set of priority activities to be implemented at the onset of emergency to reduce mortality, ill health, and disability through the provision of sexual and reproductive health needs in emergencies, IPPF has supported 140,000 beneficiaries, mostly women and girls. However, we cannot do it alone. To ensure that all individuals, especially the most vulnerable, have access to life-saving sexual and reproductive health services in time of crisis, we need the support of member states and the WHO to prioritize the minimum initial service package interventions and ensure that every country in every region is equipped and prepared to respond when crisis hits. Let's work together to ensure women and girls have the basic services. That would enable them to deliver safely and with dignity, protect themselves from HIV and treat the consequences of sexual violence. Let's work together to save their lives. Thank you, Chair. I thank, I thank you very much for that. I